Hey guys, before I get into this video, I would like to mention that I'm entering in Mag's uh, underrated YouTuber series and pretty much what that is is if you subscribe to his channel, like his videos and stay active in his comments and you may get the chance um, to have one of your videos on his channel and have all 8,000 of the subs watch your video. It's a pretty interesting series and I really think I truly deserve to be featured in his uh, channel. So I hope you guys enjoy my this video. Subscribe if you're new and leave a like. Hey guys, it's Kingstar Vidu here and welcome back to my Chelsea Karimo series season 3. And we'll continue off in this uh, where we left off in the last episode. Uh, we're still in the transfer window. So I just got an international management offer from uh, New Zealand and I'm, I'm just going to straight up reject this offer. The Germany offer is still on hold. So yeah, last episode uh, we left off at uh, me asking you guys if I should sign Nani, Nani or Quaresma. And uh, one of you guys spoke and said uh, to get for uh, go for Quaresma. So I guess I'll just do that. Except Quaresma and Nani will just have to be rejected. So we just got news. Uh, Turan has left uh, Chelsea to go to Barcelona. 32 million. So he's, made, he's making his comeback to Barcelona. And at the same time, we have signed uh, Ricardo Quaresma. Yeah, he's, he's an immediate replacement for him. So the next game will be against Reading, but for this game, it's a uh, Capital One Cup. I'm gonna simulate this game as well. And yeah, uh, last last season I, I made a mistake of simulating a game, and we lost. Hopefully, we don't lose this game. I'm gonna take the risk of simulating. <laughs> wow. We lose to Reading on penalties, and now we're out of the Capital One Cup. I wanted to win. Oh wow, that was a big mistake on my part. Come on, we can't even beat Reading. Oh my goodness, Higuain tied it up. 98th minute, we lose on penalties. Wow. So now the next game of this episode will be against uh, Leicester City in the Premier League. So for this game against uh, Leicester City, I'm gonna go with Higuain and Bolo up front, De Bruyne at camp, Hazard at left mid, Matuidi at center defensive, Marja at right mid, Ivanovic at right back, Zuma and Marquinhos at center back, Kurzawa at left back and Noyan goal. And on the bench we have Dyer, Kane, Payet, Stones, Laurie Sane, Down and Quaresma, who could make his debut. And one else, uh, something else I just remembered, and maybe that's a factor, but. I put Harry Kane in that game instead of Mbolo. Maybe that's the reason why we lost. I don't know. That could be the reason, but if it is, wow. So we kick off this game against uh, Leicester City at Stamford Bridge. We have the home advantage here, and let's hope we win the three points. Oh shit! We won a penalty. Really? I thought that was a that's a red card as well. I honestly thought that tackle was great. What, what's wrong with that tackle? Here we go. <laughs> honestly, he won the ball first. I don't think it's a penalty, but the game thinks it's a penalty, so why not? So it's going to be Hazard taking the penalty. Can he put us in the lead already? Hope he does. Yes, he does. Top corner finish. 1-0. Here's Matt Tweedy on the ball now. Matt Tweedy's going to the box. Cuts back. Dodges some players. Sweat it off. Oh my goodness. It hits the post and comes back off. Unlucky. Should have been 2 0. Here's Mbolo on the run now. Mbolo goes for a goal. And the keeper with a nice save sends it off for, I believe, a throw in. Here's Ivan Mitch on the ball. Cross, sends it across. De Bruyne gets to it but couldn't connect. Now, Mares. To Higuain, Higuain goes for a goal, it gets deflected by a defender off for a corner. So we're gonna take this corner short, send a ball to a Hazard, Hazard to Higuain, Higuain gets to Zuma, Zuma goes for goal, finds the back of there, what a shot from Kurt Zuma, makes it 2-0. And a nice play off the set piece, Hazard to Higuain, Higuain to Zuma, and what a finish from Zuma. From that angle, finish the top corner. 
Nice one from De Bruyne. De Bruyne sends a through ball to Higuain. Higuain, his shot was poor. Um, easy uh, save for uh, the keeper. Here's Higuain on the ball. Higuain to De Bruyne, but De Bruyne loses the ball. And now Leicester on the attack. Come on, referee, both the whistle. Yes, that's half time. We're up 2 0. Here's Higuain on the ball. Higuain, penalty. Yes, another penalty. And maybe it could be another card. Alright, this time it's no card, but had a, a chance to, for him to score second goal of the game. Could he score? Let's go the opposite way this time. Oh, the keeper goes the same way, but Hazard still finishes it. 3 0. Here's Hazard on the ball now. Hazard, nice dribbling from him. He loses the ball. De Bruyne on the ball. And Bolo now goes for a goal. And he finds the back of the net. It's 4 0. We had some luck to do with that player right here. Hazard did everything by himself, but he loses the ball. But the ball falls directly to De Bruyne's feet. He just finds Mbolo, and Mbolo just hammers it into the back of the net. And that's Mbolo's fifth goal in the game. He is now Chelsea's top goal scorer. Absolutely confirmed. All sources confirmed. Now Mbolo on the ball right there. Goes for a goal. And it's that easy for him to finish and find the back of the net. 5-0. And what a nice through ball from De Bruyne. He sees Mbolo, gives out to him. And Mbolo with the easy finish. Keeper had no chance of stopping that. Nice through ball to Mbolo. Mbolo, easy finish. Hat trick against Leicester City, who are a man down. 6 0. And now, right here, straight off. Chris Alba to De Bruyne. De Bruyne again finds. Mbolo and Mbolo with the easy finesse shot into the top corner and that makes this his hat trick so straight after that goal I'm gonna make some substitutions right now take off De Bruyne for Payet let's take off Higuain for Harry Kane and take off Morris for uh, Laurie Singh no actually no not Laurie Singh let's give actually give Charisma a debut Mbolo now on the ball. Mbolo, nice fake shot from him. Throw goal for a goal. Hits off the bar this time. Now Hazard on the ball. Hazard, can he keep the ball? It's off for a goal kick. And that's full time. Managed to win this game 6 0 against the 10 man Leicester side. That makes it. A, we've been winning. We've been thrashing a Premier League teams this whole season so far let's hope we continue this so man of the match goes to Kevin De Bruyne he didn't score a goal but he got three assists in this game and Bolo with a close uh, 9.7 rating who scored a hat trick Kresma made a debut but he made a debut pretty late so he has no rating Hazard is a 9.7 as well overall good uh, team performance from us so we received a transfer offer for Serge Aurier right here 26 million from Swansea City um, I know we haven't been using him as much, but that's only because uh, Ivanovic is playing wonderful for us. So I'm going to make a counter offer and ask for 45 million. And now we also got an another offer for uh, Pat Toad, this time from West Brom, uh, West Brom and Kelbian. Um, again, I'm, I'm only selling this guy for 30 million. I actually like Pat Toad, so 30 million. So West Brom and Kelbian seems to have dropped out of the Pat Toad bid. 30 million is too much for them and Swan City came back with a 31 and a half million counter offer but I'm just gonna counter right back with another 45 million not selling him for underneath that and plus it's not like so Aurier is a bad player it's just uh, Ivan is just playing wonderful so I don't want to ruin that hype for that for him so Swan City came back again with another 31 and a half million offer if they come back again with another 31 and, uh, and a half million offer, I'm just going to straight up reject them. But I'll, I'll get a counter offer with another 45 million. So yeah, Swan City has dropped out of this Aurea uh, bid. And Aurea will just be staying with Chelsea. And I'll also see the latest deal. Uh, Janos is going to uh, Juventus. Uh, mentioning a, star, a young star player has left. So that's a bit shocking. And I believe... I remember seeing another player, I think yeah, Lacazette going to Spurs, also happened. And damn, a big 
United might have lost their young star player, but they've gained a big star player right here. Low and Dosky, a great striker. Going from Bayern Munich to United for 71.5 million, overtaking uh, Man City's uh, uh, bid for uh, Tony Cruz. So I think it was 70.5 million, so extra 1 million above that. Still doesn't beat our Harry Kane or Lukaku offers, but comes out, takes the third spot. Jeez, right when I was talking about first spot and everything, Real Madrid has sold Hamas Rodriguez, who could be a potential star player. Uh, the cover boy of FIFA 17 could be uh, they sold him to Bayern Munich who just lost Lewandowski for 125 and a half million I don't think you could go you could sell is it even possible to sell anyone over 125 million I've never seen that happen in Korea man, unless it's being done by you but like I've never seen computers sell players for over 125 million and that's the first time I've ever seen that Hamas Rodriguez goes to Bayern Munich oh, I I wonder if they would use them anyways. I think they, don't they have a lot of midfielders anyways? But whatever. Hamas just overtakes Lukaku's bid. He's now the most expensive player in this transfer window. So we have received another transfer offer for Alexander Pato. Real Betis came off. Counter offer. I'm again. Uh, this time actually I'll probably offer 27 million. You know, 27 million. Take it or leave it. So even at 27 million, uh, Real Betis have rejected that and dropped down of the Pato bid. I'm not I'm looking to sell him anyway, so I'm I'm all right if he stays at Chelsea. The thing is, he's not he's probably not going to play a lot of games, but considering uh, how he is in real life, I guess the amount of games he's going to get this season is acceptable. So we're going to the last hour of the transfer window, and looks like that'll be it. That'll be all that. Uh, it for us in the transfer window. I don't think we have no nothing happened in the deadline day for us. We just got offers, no moves happen. Latest deals are right here, and the top deals, as you guys already know, Hamas Rodriguez deals it on on the deadline day. Uh, Lukaku comes second, and Kane comes third. Fourth would have to be Lewandowski, and fifth goes to Tony Cruz. And if you look at how we did in the transfer window this season. Summer transfer window, uh, we spent 137 million, but uh, we gained 141 from sales. Lukaku getting uh, the most money, and then we have a few other players who went for a few bit. Yeah, and St Stones, Dyer, Kane, Kresma was the cheapest one, but those three were quite a, quite a expensive. So there we go, a transfer window sl uh, slams shut. And I believe a total of 350 million was spent on just deadline day itself, so just pretty mad. Um, yeah, let's get on with the game. And also looking at player of the month now, Mbolo wins the month back to back, uh, scoring a hat trick in his last performance against Leicester City. He truly deserves it. Okay, I know you guys uh, are wanting France. Not hearing anything from you guys lately yet. France doesn't look like they're going to make an offer for you. Germany is still waiting on our, our acceptance. And I got another offer, another big team. It's Spain who made an offer for us. Uh, a big team right here. We'll be, they have a lot of uh, quality players as well as, as well as Germany, but France also has nice quality players. Again, I'll just put those on the stall and let you guys decide. So the next game of the episode will be against Everton in the Premier League, who are sitting in fourth place. So uh, for this game against Everton, I decided to go with my uh, B team right here, give them a chance. Haven't played in, oh yeah, they haven't played this full season so far. So Pato and Bolo will be starting instead of uh, Harry Kane. I feel like we need a, a guaranteed goal scorer at least on this side. Pai will be a cam, Lorisen at left mid, Dyer at center defensive, Koresma right mid, Ori at right back, Stones and Miazga center back, Baba left back, and Noyan goal. And on the bench we have Down, Mares, De Bruyne, Matuidi, Marquinhos, Hazard, and Kane. So we start off this game against Everton at Goodison Park. We're going with our B team for the first time this season and let's hope we get a win. Oh nice steal from Insane. Insane to Mbolo. Mbolo with the finish. Easily finds the back of the net. It's 1-0 already. Yo big ups to Laurie Sainte here. What a steal right away. Everton did not expect that. 
he sees him, Bola gives it straight away to him, and Bola just tucks it into the bottom corner. Here's Pato on the ball now. His first game in this season. Does well right there, but loses the ball at the end. Pato's gonna be like one of those guys, like Higuain and Kane. Now here's Pato on the ball. Pato, still on the ball. Gives it off to Payet. For the, oh, it's not Payet, it's Mbolo, sorry. Mbolo gives to Kresma. Kresma, a potential first goal. Yep, his first goal as a Chelsea player. Comes in the second game, in his first start as a Chelsea player. Right away, Mbolo, this time makes an assist. Kresma did well right there in the box and just finished in the back of the net. Oh my goodness! Yo, that cross was so close of con going to the target. Neuer comes up with a big save, keeps it out, and he had a, he kind of struggled a bit right there to keep that from going inside. And now here, I'm bull on the ball now, and Bola does a slide tackle. Got a cut back right here. Ah, uh, trying to find uh, Payet, but the defender made a tackle right away. Oh great! Now Barkley on the tack. I think that's, I believe that's our first goal ever con conceded in the Premier League this season, and it's Ross Barkley who scores past Neuer. And right here, Quadrado gives the uh, passes up to Barkley. Barkley, I, I, I don't know if, who, which player that was, did a one-two with him, and Barkley just outside the box shoots it. He was one on one with the keeper, and the easy finish for him. Now, nah. the through on goal again. Everton with a l lucky miss. Nice play from Laurie Sane. Laurie Sane dodges that player. Come on, get some players in the box here. Ah, oh, I tried to take a fake shot. Didn't work. But there was no players in the box, so I couldn't cross it. And, yep, that's half time. We're up 2 1. Here's Kresma on the ball now. Charisma takes a nice fake shot, dodges that player, goes around that player. It's in the box now. Can he send it across? Oh my goodness, that was so close. But the defender clears it off. And now Everton's ball. Here's Charisma on the ball now. Charisma, nice fake shot from him. Come on, sweat it off. Let's go for a goal kick. Here's Charisma on the ball. Charisma, go for goal, man. Yes. Lucky deflection goal. Goes off the keeper and in. And, and Kresma finds this break. Now Kresma right here getting lucky. Gets past that defender. I thought he was going to fall down. Maybe get a penalty or something. But stayed up on his ground. Hammered it into the back of the net. Keeper just couldn't save it. Oh no. Mauro Icardi. A new sign for Everton. And he missed such an easy goal. Could have been, but it was off target. Nice from Kresma. Kresma holds that defender off. Goes for a goal. Kresma's off target. A chance for him to score a hat trick, but he fluffs it. All right, let's make some substitutions right now. Let's take off Eric Dyer for Blaise Matuidi. Kresma for Maris. I guess uh, Payet for De Bruyne. The nice play from Lore Sane. Lore Sane. Ah, oh, wrong through ball. I was trying to give to Matuidi, but it goes connects to Mbolo. Here's Mbolo on the ball. Receives a nice through ball to from Pato. Cuts back. Gets to De Bruyne. De Bruyne shot gets blocked by defender. And now we're still on the ball here. De Bruyne loses it again. Oh, nice through ball to Mbolo. Mbolo goes for a goal, and he doesn't disappoint me. Yeah, scores his second of the game. 4-1 and right here the keeper with a big mistake Pato intercepts the pass gives to De Bruyne De Bruyne sends the through ball to Mbolo and Mbolo goes near post and finds the back of the net oh god oh god clear that oh easy save for Neuer not really that much easy actually had a few worries and that's full time we win against Everton at their own stadium 4-1 comfortable win um, I, I, I don't know if you could say it's a thrashing, but I don't know. But other than this game, we've been thrashing every other opponent. Everton, I believe, is the only opponent to score against us. So, man of the match goes to 
Brill Donald and Bolo right here getting assist and scoring two goals. He scored the first goal and scored the last goal. Uh, Charisma gets an 8.1 for scoring two goals. A good uh, first start uh, performance from him. And yeah, overall, all these guys pretty much uh, uh, played their first starting game, except Neuer. Yeah, they played well. So these are training objectives as for my players. Uh, let's hope we get good results. So we got some bad uh, uh, performance right here. Two Ds, uh, two Cs, and one B. So we'll end this episode off with the game against uh, CSK Moscow in the Champions League. First game in uh, Europe this season. And I guess you could say this is the reason why I decided to go with my first team, uh, my B team in, my, in the last game. Saving them up for uh, the Champions League game. I know CSK Moscow is an easy team, but you know, let them perform. And yeah, I'm going to go with the starting lineup I normally go with now. And the bench will also remain the same. So we start off this game against uh, CSK Moscow. We're playing the first game in the Champions League at home at Stamford Bridge. And let's hope we get the three points. Here's De Bruyne on the ball. De Bruyne, a nice play from him. Goes for a goal and finds the back of the net in the fourth minute. And what a player here. The Belgian connection. Hazard to De Bruyne. De Bruyne goes in the box. I don't know why there's no players running after him. We're trying to defend him, but it's pretty open for him and just easily finished it. No, 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 don't! Oh my goodness, I pressed the wrong button by accident. It almost cost us a goal. Ah. Oh, De Bruyne, what a nice play! Wow, De Bruyne just took it from our box area and ran all that way, all by himself. And finds the second goal for him. Like literally, he just ran from our side of the block, I believe. Ran all the way here. I don't know why no one did finish trying to make a challenge against them. Just swerved past everyone and finished it. It's a nice throw about to Higuain. Higuain cuts back, goes for goal. And finally, Higuain performs. Maybe he's trying to start scoring more goals now. Higuain with the goal makes it 3 0. Right here, De Bruyne sends a nice through ball to Higuain. De Bruyne with already two goals now. This time with assist. De Bruyne has been a part of every goal now. Here's Kurzawa. Kurzawa to De Bruyne. De Bruyne is all open right here. We got I try to pass it to Morris right there. I try to sweat it off to him. Why the hell is he passing to the goalkeeper? Oh my god, De Bruyne could have just got himself a second assist. Oh, nice through about the Embolo. Embolo, can he possibly pull out a goal in the 45th minute? Just does a slide tackle. Embolo in the box now. Unlucky Embolo. Keeper saves it. And Matt Tweedy now on the ball, but he loses it. And it's going to be halftime. Yep, we're up 3 0. And a good half for us so far. Here's De Bruyne making it a run. He gets slack tackle from behind. That's a red card. Please, ref. Not even a single card. Oh, I tried to pass it to Mbolo, but they quickly got up. Come on, that should have been. That's a slack tackle from behind. That should be a red card easily. Mbolo, nice run from Mbolo. Mbolo goes for a goal. This keeper saved two shots from Mbolo today. Unbelievable. Kurzawa on the ball. Gives it back to Mbolo. Mbolo, redeem yourself. Again, the keeper with another save. So now we have a corner. Hazard to take a short and give it to De Bruyne. De Bruyne's going to dodge that player. Go inside the box. Dodge another player. That's a penalty, is it not? That's not even a foul. What the hell, ref? Here, Mbolo on the ball now. He's going to the box. Sweat off to Higuain. Get it onside. Yep, it's onside and Higuain picks up his brace. It's a 4 0. Right here, Embolo. After being denied many times against this keeper, he decided to sweat it off. Pass to Higuain. To be honest, I meant to sweat off to De Bruyne actually. But it went to Higuain, but it still worked out. And it's up 4 0 now. So let's mix up substitution right now. Let's take off Embolo. Could not score a goal today, but got an assist. We'll take off, uh, put on Harry Kane. 
Uh, let's take off Matt Tweedy for Eric Dyer. And who else can we do? Uh, let's take off De Bruyne for Pyatt. Oh well, that's full time. Uh, try to get the ball right there, but yeah, full time we win the game four nothing. Yeah, good performance for us in the first uh, game of the Champions League. So man, the match goes to Kevin De Bruyne. Picked up two goals and an assist in this game. Gets a 9.3. Higuain gets a 6, 8.6. Uh, and Bolo gets a 7.6 for getting an assist. And yeah, good performance from us. So that, we'll come to the end of the episode right here. Like I said, we played two games in uh, the Premier League this episode. And that's five games already we played in total this season. And we're up on top of the table. 15 points, the only uh, team to win all the games. Uh, Man City will come in second. They still un they're still undefeated as well, but they had two draws. Arsenal in third with one defeat. Newcastle sitting in fourth. Austin Villa in fifth. And most of the big teams aren't seeing the bottom. Southampton, Stoke, and Spurs all at the bottom. Not good. It's not looking too good for them. But yeah, Chelsea and Everton, as you can see right there, are the only team to score past us. And after five games, 23 goals are scored. Just absolutely mad. Our goals have been sitting at 22 right now at just five games. Yeah, hope you guys liked this episode. Uh, leave a huge like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time, the next episode. Yeah.